videos on Pornhub on their public humiliation. And if you don't know what public humiliation is, it's where they take a girl out in public and they get her all, you know, the yeah, yeah. They, no, I don't know. I don't they, know. They, they, what, what would yeah, this be considered? They file her. What would this be file considered her in, in, in the social media world? Is this like a uh, a trolling of some sort where people just like? Yeah, uh, I mean, it kind of is. No, I mean, it kind of is like Joe saying. I mean, it kind of is. That's a, what that's called a yeah, troll, right? Kind of a trolling a in the stuff. sense yeah, that yeah, you're yeah. constantly dropping down insults to the team Brazil. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could call that. I mean, but you should. But I mean, they don't want it. Pornhub didn't want it anymore. Is what you're saying? It was like blowing it up and locking it up. Probably locking up their servers. You know, you know who? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here's an example on on Twitter. Uh, what uh, Pornhub Katie put up, and, and she's I guess she's uh, an employee of Pornhub, but I don't know. Uh, she goes, if I wanted to see a Brazilian gangbang, I would just go on Pornhub. Oh. So people were uploading all the videos, and it's like, and Pornhub Katie came out, and she's like, listen, please stop uploading the game highlights to Pornhub. Our public humiliation category is full. Hashtag Brazil versus Germany. I, know, I think it's funny that an employee is named Pornhub Katie. Well, well, yeah. Well, I mean, she works at Pornhub. Her name is Katie. It's so. actually it's her ma- it's her marriage name. It's not her. Yeah, so you think I'm it's a made-up I mean, name? I mean, no, I mean, no, no, no. Yeah, like Lee is my. Would you go by your real name? The last name used to be Connors. It was just uh, it was uh, Pornhub well, Connors. It's just, a, it's just a job when you come down to it. Really. But you know who's really angry about this 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 little bit of trolling, if you will, is the people that like public humiliation videos. They probably couldn't get the fix, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, they were like they were so upset about that. They were like, this is. Brazil, I hate Brazil. For the rest of the life, every time I see a yellow shirt, they're going to want to stab you. And, the, and the, another, one, one more example before we move on. Uh, it, it said it, that, that the little sign here goes, the people at Pornhub weren't joking. And it shows Germany hugging in, in, a, in a thing. Yeah. And the, the, little, the little headline underneath it says, uh, young Brazilians get effed by the entire German soccer team. Wow. <laughs> We're good. That's a uh, quick shout out. Happy birthday to Casey. Happy yes, birthday, Casey. Happy birthday to Casey. Like, it wasn't enough for, for playing to the show. Somebody finally turned the gay Billy Mays straight. I mean, yes, finally. There, there finally, Billy Mays is straight. There was Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm Billy Mays, and I like girls again. Anyway, so let's get out of the World Cup. Yeah. We're running, running short of time here. Race talk. Yep. David Price in the trade rumors. Joe, I know you've got your thoughts about this. Still hasn't been traded yet. Now we're here we are in the second half. After the All-Star Game and the Home Run Derby, an uh, All-Star Game that David Price was nominated for. Well, the new thing out there everybody's talking about is uh, that Seattle's talking about that they've, they've got a deal on the table with the Rays, and the Rays are trying to figure out a deal. But yeah, that can't I heard some that. local radio around here today, some guy who's really really isn't a no. I don't know if I'm supposed to, like... Uh, Anyway, he says that, that <laughs> that's been around for a while. That's really nothing new. It's just like it's just a slow, a slow new week, news week, and they're trying to jack some stuff up. Um, do, does he stay here or go? I mean, he's he's eventually going to go, right? I mean, my big question yeah, to you is: You got to one more year, though. Let me ask you though. Well, they got it for one more year, but you got to get something out of it if, if you're not going to resign him, right? But we got you know they signed Evan. He got his like ninety, almost a hundred million dollar deal, but it's like a nine year deal. It's a it's a long one, heavily heavy loaded to the back end. Who would you rather have on the team? Would you rather have Evan on the team? Would you rather have Rago? Do you really want you guys watch well, enough of the um, baseball I, for, I, for you to tell me? I'll, I'll start out by saying I would rather have David Price than have the guy that owns some, you know, well, it's a decent bar and a little bowling place. Well, and you, you, know, you congrats to him for being married to a playmate and all that. I'd rather have, have David Price. Price. Ben's hating, dude. That no, was I'm, a, not, I'm not hating. That was hating. baseball. I was, like, out of I was asking though. you a question. Oh, was that hating? Yeah, that no, was hating. I don't no. want to get caught with like an AK-47 yeah. or anything. <laughs> <laughs> had nothing to do. I don't want to get caught with an AK-47 during spring training. Wow, dude, you got a bone to pick with this guy. He didn't have to use his AK. By the way, I'm just saying I'd rather have David Price. All right. I'm not saying any if, of that. If I Longo can start hitting, I'd rather have pitching than Longo. You, no, you just said all that. Oh, I did. I mean, I'm sorry. Longo yeah. isn't doing anything right now. Well, no, he's. I mean, he's not playing horribly. The pitchers are pitching around he, him. Well, they kind of are, and, he, and he's feeling like the thing is, man, they're, they're trying to like they can't pitch around him. Two guys on base, two outs. They don't have to throw him the ball. They can load him on first base yeah. or not give him a hit or, or not give him not give him a pitch to hit. They don't have to intentionally walk him. and just saying they can throw him a bunch of outside stuff. And he's trying to really, I, from what I see when I watch it, he's trying real hard to hit these just two right field. He's kind of trying to do a, G, a Jeter thing. He's yeah. actually he's actually becoming a better hitter. He's just not getting a whole lot to hit. When he had, if you had, say he had uh, Joey Bats behind him in the lineup, man, Jose Bautista, dude, and. And he was oh, behind yeah. there. He would see a lot more pitching. And that's the problem when you look at a batter like Longo. I mean, th- this is a guy that really is a uh, – uh, it's a guy that bats for average, typically. He's not a power hitter. He's more of a guy no, 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 yes, he is a power hitter. Well, no, oh, no, 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 somewhat. Three so home runs later, later. Lately, yeah. he's been hitting lately. for average. But, I mean, if you – he is a power hitter. But to your point, Joe, if you surround the guy where you can't pitch around him, 
He becomes a much different batter. He does. He's going to see better pitches. You're going to see more fastballs. You're going, to, you're going to try to get him out. You're not going to automatically put him on base because you're not going to take a guy, I mean, eh, possibly, but a lot of times you see a guy first and second. They won't pitch much to him, and they might load the bases, right? right. Because it's, in their minds, it's the For same thing as having out. a guy in second and third and just load it there. you got to force out, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? But, but technically, they won't try to walk him that much. They'll just throw him a, very, a lot of very borderline pitches. Now, if that's long ago, to put him on base, they're not going to do that. They're not going to put another person on base for Joey uh, Jose Batista to come up with because that's going to be one more run if he hits a home run. Now, now while you're talking about pitching, right. we were talking about David Price. But we mentioned how he was nominated for the All-Star Game. In this All-Star Game, you had the whole thing with Wainwright versus Kershaw. Ooh, and then yeah. you had the subsequent comments from Wainwright. That was crazy. I, I thought this whole thing was funny how it actually panned out. I mean, it was impressive. It, uh, it was Kershaw. You know, I guess the whole world thinks that Kershaw should have been the starter. I mean, he has a no-hitter this year. He, he won the side. Blah, 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 blah. Wainwright actually has a lower ERA. So you can put the, uh, the argument out there, but I think it's pretty much – going to say. I mean, I guess, you know, you can tell by the uh, performance, because Wainwright gave up with like three runs in the first inning, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Gave up the blast by Miguel. Well. But then, uh, you know, so so the, I, I guess his coach, what, Mike Me- Metheny? What his name? Mike, yeah, Mike Metheny or whatever it is. <laughs> no, I thought it was Metheny. Uh, uh, I like Seth it. Is probably yeah. Metheny, yeah. That's yeah. crack! Yeah, it's no crack! No, that's the guy from, that's the guy from Texas Rangers. Yeah. Yeah, he does vote. Uh, Ron Washington. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Ron Washington. He's voted up before. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was, uh, He's been, but you know what? You look, at, Biggums, you look at Ron Washington. Doesn't he look like he was, like, partying with Richard Pryor dude, back in the day? Dude, Ron Washington has definitely knocked on a few doors that don't have door hand. <laughs> no, I'm hey, sorry. Hey, hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Ron, Ron, yeah. Ron Washington really wants to take a free base. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> now, <laughs> did you make that one up? That's good, man. I, did, I like that. You. That's awesome. By the way, 813-438-6068 is the number you want to call if you want to be a part of the Crano Mission Show. Hi. Moving on from race talk, yeah. getting into the, one of the biggest headlines so far over the past week. Has it keeps getting bigger. The uh, LeBron James saga. It's gotten bigger since we did our outline, dude. It's, it's getting bigger and bigger. Now he's now he's offering for fans to tell him what number he's going to be. Is he going to be number 23 like he used to be? Oh, so now there's like a, a number raffle going yeah, on. Not a raffle, raffle, but he's asking. So, you know, he's just... Look, LeBron James... James is trying to be the biggest person on on the planet, and he's really irked that that thing that he did when he moved to Miami, like dropped his popularity by like millions. Well, he like, became the anti-hero, really. He almost became a villain. And you know, the thing is with LeBron James is, you know, unless you're living under a rock, then you obviously understand the fact that he did just sign with uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yes. And you know, timing is interesting because you look at the Cleveland Cavaliers he's situation. He's no Kobe. I think. He, I think. No. What I think you look at it, and they kept losing and losing and drafting guys like Kyrie Irving, Andrew Wiggins, all these guys that are pretty damn good players right. and are young. And now you look well, at yeah, LeBron, got, and he's set up to play with good young players. Yeah, where if you look at Miami, and let's face it, Chris Bosh was on the downslide. Dwayne, 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 Dwayne Wade hasn't been a good player in a number of years now. Yeah, but he's still average. No, he's not. Yeah, so he, LeBron knew. He's he's not, I don't think he's on the court enough, Mike. Ash, or, uh, Miguel. I don't think he's even close enough. The <laughs> same thing. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I don't think he's really. He, he's hurt most of the time, dude. So it's not. It's not that big a deal. But, but, yeah, uh, but when he's on the court, he's still he's still an average player. But I think the, the big winner in this is the city of Cleveland, man. I mean, they're gonna they, they say they're gonna make like five hundred million a year off him just moving back home. I don't know if that's yeah, I know taxes. because everybody burned all their jerseys. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna make that sheer well, but, you, you know, you, yeah. you talk about that and you look at the old uh, joke, uh, the parody. Cleveland tourism commercials where yeah. they said their, their economy was based on yeah. LeBron James. It was, well, it's, it's, you know, I guess it's true. Economy's based on LeBron James. <laughs> it really is, man. I mean, <laughs> as for the price of a VCR. <laughs> but see, I mean, think think about if if, if the, uh, the Cavaliers are winning, right? Okay, so he comes back to the Cavaliers are winning. They're selling tickets, right? So that means that every restaurant in a four and five mile radius of of the uh, stadium where they play is going to make up a ton more money, man. I mean. It's great for parking attendance. It's great for everybody. Like around that whole area, the business will grow up around a successful venue where there's a baseball, the baseball, the hockey, or uh, well, to the point basketball. where you know Cedar Point, which is one of the all-time most successful amusement parks in the country. Let's yeah, face it, like the boardwalk. Yeah. If, if you're a roller coaster junkie, then look no further than a place like Cedar Point. Big shout out to my boy Andy Mouncey and Mary Lou. <laughs> We were just up there hanging out, checking out the roller coasters there. But Cedar Point, you, you, you know, Joe, you talk about the raffle for LeBron's number. You know, what number are they going to get? They win a prize, whatever. C- Cedar Point's actually going to rename a roller coaster after, after LeBron James. Yep. Well, I, as well as he should be, because he's probably paying for other people. That are, I mean, 
You know what I mean? What do they call it? Once a traitor, now he's back? Or yeah, they don't care. Uh, this is like... Well, like you said, though. I mean, he, was like the, 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 he was the villain. Now he's the good guy. No, he, he's the prodigal son, man. He's returned. Wait, exactly. So you're saying, now he's so a you're good saying guy. he's a Chucky doll. He's back. He's a good guy? Look, good guy doll. I never said Chucky was a good guy. No, Chucky, the, the, the little dolls, they call him good guy doll. No, actually, on another radio show I used to do, we actually interviewed the actor that played I know, Chucky. I know, Nerd Shuttle. That's that really? was awesome, yeah. yeah. You and Joe Davidson, and uh, what was the other gentleman's name there? And uh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah. Chucky Chuck. We, we, we gotta get Joe. No, I mean, now all of a sudden, LeBron James is the good guy. He was the, the, the villain as soon as he left. Yeah. And immediately, they welcome him back with open arms. He's kind of like a wrestler. He's going, like the, he's going the road of like Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Yeah, he, well, he, he got a heel. He's a heel at first. You know, he, was, he was Hulkamania, then he went, he went dark with the you know, was the, the WCW. He was Hollywood Hulk Hogan for a while. Right, right. When he got all dark, and he wore black clothes. And yeah, when he was with the NWO. And he wore yeah. that. He wore yeah. all, yeah. all, yeah. all, yeah. all black, and he wore that paint, uh, white yeah. feather boa. Yeah, the new yeah. yeah. boa. The whole thing was horrible, yeah. man. Yeah. But now, then he became a good guy again. And then he got, then he got a, then he got a reality show. And his entire family fell apart. Yeah, yeah dude, it was dude that is, I, I'm serious. And that has got to be. Did he feel up his? No, no, that was Jessica Simpson's dad who <laughs> felt her up. I don't know. I can't keep track. Well, of guys, all guys, guys, we're up against it here. This show's getting a little out of hand. But guys, yeah. for all you out there, stay with us. We got to jump into a quick commercial break. Uh, you know, again, we, I'm, I'm excited because apparently when we get back from this commercial break, Nelson's got his newest segment, another episode of Nelson Man on the, on the Scene, but we've actually sent him down. He's actually out, not only out of the state, but out of the country for this one. So for all you out there, stay with us. We'll be right back after this. Well, well, Andrew, you've lived a pretty good life, it seems. Let's just take a look. No murder. No adultery. No stealing, not even as a child. Very impressive. Well, thank you, sir. In this new age, you have to be accountable in all facets of your life. Well, what else is there? It is time to check your browser history. No! A dirty browser history may keep you out of heaven, but don't let it ruin your legacy here on Earth. At Legacy Lock, we believe your secrets are no one's business but yours, even in death. Our patented heart monitor notifies operators the moment of your passing within minutes. So Legacy Lock teams can swarm on your home and office removing any embarrassing material. We don't like to divulge our trade secrets, but you'll rest assured we'll be in and out and no one will know. You're going to die. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Call Legacy Lock and your cookies won't crumble you. You've seen people who have straightened up from the TV show Intervention. This is a story of those who have been left behind. Man, we can't even find anything, man. Your boy won't even talk to us without you around. It's time to bring the recovering addict back to where he belongs. Remember the last time we went out we had them two hoes? And Freddy's with that crazy tranny. I love you, man, but I need someone I can take advantage of. Join us tonight for the premiere episode of Re-intervention, real life, real drama, real junkies. I heard you was trying to go back to school, man. School ain't no good. All they trying to do is control you, fool. Are we willing to lose lives left behind? Don't want to be saved? Join us for the first season of Re-intervention. Hello. Hello, I'm, I'm Forrest Gump. Gump. When well, I'm not carrying around that lazy Lieutenant Dan, I'm listening to the Crane Mission Show with Ben Charles, Miguel Hito, and the Reverend Joey T. But they're no Jenny. No, we're not Jenny, but we are the Cranial Mission Show, broadcasting to you like we do every Friday from 7 to 9 live from ESB Brewing, 333 North Balkenberg Road, Sweet D. Sweet D. 407, if you're hungry, Come get your tuckers up here. Ninja Noms, air fried egg rolls, incredible medley of flavors that they have available to you. And if you're looking for an incredibly medley of beer flavors, ESB has 15 different beers to choose from. 
go and talk to the illustrious TJ behind the Easy. bar. Also known as the...